Now then, this is a follow on from the last video where we were testing all those grid inverters. Now then, here, if you remember the ABB came up with a fault code something like 301, something like that. Anyway, this is a circuit board out of another one of those 3.6 ABB Aurora inverters and I've um, I've hacked the top off the relays there are four relays on this whereas in a lot of the other uh, inverters they are dual pole these are single pole so there are four of them and um, well, why not? I know this came out of a, an inverter that was definitely dead. So we can um, hack this apart and have a look and then go into that other inverter on what we've learnt and see if we can cure the problem. So let's crack on. So this is a bit tricky. But these were enclosed, so I had to get the Dremel out and hack through the plastic. But there is the contact. So the, the connection to this contact is down here. And that's how it moves. This one is what it contacts on. And this bit here is not connected to anything. I thought it was but it's not. I checked it all out. They're actually just they will move a little bit. So what we can do is we can bend the contact slightly so that it like the other ones so that it actually comes in contact with the contact in here rather than bottoming out on the solenoid core. So I find out how to take these covers off. That's the main thing. And that that is nothing. There's no contact there. So we can mess around with these and bend them and all sorts of stuff and see if we can um, get rid of that fault code. Because it's on startup. So yeah several of the inverters I've looked at in the past it's been the relays so what's the worst thing that can happen we can't fix it but we might do so spirit of adventure and really wild things here we go so we've just got to remove the back and these are torques So that will take a while. So I'll switch you back on again when this is done. So there we go. Now then. There's a screw there and there and there and there and then this whole panel lifts up. I've just got to remove the mains cable so I'm just going to flip it over I'll put a screw back in there it's the mains cable that's stopping me from uh, lifting this up
So let's get rid of that. And also in here, we need to remove the uh, the inputs. Let's just move the camera. So as you can see, there's positive, negative, positive, negative, and as I said before, all these three spades are all connected together anyway. So let's just remove those. Right, then we can lift this board up. So just flip it over and lift the board up. So, lift this up. And we've got a ribbon there. So I'll just remove the ribbon. And there we go. Now then, let's just see where, how we're seeing. There are the four relays. So we need to get the Dremel and just cut the tops off those. I'm just going to do one, it'll be noisy. I'll do one and then I'll do the rest off camera. So we've just taken the corners off. Okay, you get the picture. They just, these won't come off. They won't flick up and come off for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I think they're glued down the bottom and the glue is just a bit too good. Anyway, that's one relay um, contacts that are now free from the case. So we can get to them. So I'll do the rest and then we'll um, have a go. Right, hopefully you can see that contact. So effectively what I'm going to do is I'm going to jam that there and just bend everything just slightly. on all four of them and see if it makes a difference. So let's just try it on this one. It'll probably bounce around but effectively what I want to do is just make sure that they move far enough. Right, there we go. I'm just going to clean all that uh, muck off and um, pop it back together and then um, see what happens. We can but try. Right, we've got the mains connected. 
I'm going to have to unplug something. Ah, the Dremel. So we'll, that's the mains. And then we'll have to unplug this light. And turn that down. Now well, something's happening. I'm just going to move the camera in to just look at the screen. Ah no. Well it was worth a try wasn't it? Never mind. Okay, just like in all the horror movies, just when you thought it was over. Um, this is that board that I experimented on and I was inspecting the back some more and noticed a little thing here. We've got a bad joint. I'll just sort of see if I can zoom in on that. There it is. So let's have the board off the back plate on this uh, inverter and just see if we've got a dry joint there. Okay, I've removed about a million screws and I've just lifted the fan out of the way. And so therefore we can tip this over and lo and behold, I'll just zoom in on that. We've got some reflection there. Move the camera. There we go. So, whether or not that's caused by a short of some form, or just bad soldering but I'm going to solder that up and uh, see what happens so I've got a bit of a brass wheel here I'm just going to clean that up definitely it got warm so let's just see what happens Well, let's see what happens. Good job I had that big uh, soldering iron. It was soaking up the heat quite a bit. Let's put her back together. So start all the screws before you tighten any of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 or so it seems. Anyway, put them all in and get them started before you tighten them up. Now this is going to be wobbling so the camera is going to be trying to follow it so I'll switch you back on when it's all back together. The, um, the fan is just two screws here and it just plugs in there. Here it is. So it just goes like that. And I took it off so, so I could flip the board over without disconnecting all this lot. So we've got the mains connected and now we'll connect the DC. There we go. Plug everything in. Turn the variac up. Ah, we're getting something.
we're just going to have to work our way through this and I will uh, edit as I think appropriate. I thought it wasn't going to do something, but now it is. I'll just turn the variac down a bit. Well, it seems to be working. What more can you say? I think there is a way of getting rid of this constantly cycling the, um, the info. But I'm not sure how. I think that holds it. From what I remember, look, it says lock now. So therefore... Once you're in that first screen, you can go up or down to find out what you want, and then you can press enter and lock it. So now we are, um, it's working. So we'll just have to leave it alone and see what happens. I hope you enjoyed that tale of perseverance. Just goes to show, if you have something that doesn't work, then you have the freedom to experiment. Because what's the worst thing can happen? It still doesn't work. Catch up with you later.